Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on a new how-to series, I'm gonna start here on the channel. Uh, we're gonna be making Anderson Power Pole patch cable for that Bio-Eno Power uh, solar array that I bought and reviewed last week. So this might be a little bit remedial for some people, but I wanna get it out there and show you how to do it the right way as I got called out on it. So that's right here, right now on Ham Radio for non-techies. All right, guys, so in my in my uh, video when I was reviewing the Bio-NO Power stuff, uh, I showed you guys that I'd made this little cable to go into the, uh, to be a patch cable to get into the, into the solar, uh, the solar uh, array. And a viewer called me out on it. He's like, hey, you really shouldn't use two black wires. And he's right. You know, uh, having two black wires here, it's very easy to get confused, cross-wire these things and cause a problem or damage some of your equipment. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make the wire properly. So what I did, and the reason why this video took so long to get back to you with, is I had to go wait on the actual wire to come in. This is the same wire, the same exact wire that BioNO uses with all of their uh, products. I just did a search for it on Amazon and found like 15, 20 feet of it. So we're gonna make, take a little short section of this and this time, instead of zip tying it, which is a failure, <laughs> we're going to actually shrink wrap it. So I happen to have my little shrink wrap station set up here. So I want to start off with just getting a length of wire, just equal length of wire here, like so. I think maybe about right there ought to do. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. There we go. So now we'll get rid of this. So with making Anderson power poles, it's really, really simple to do. I showed you guys, I got the little package here from PowerWorks. So I got this little setup, we're gonna take two of these connectors. These are for the 30 amp connector. And we're just gonna grab one set of these uh, pre-made, pre-attached power pole connectors. Now, I know that in, in here they give you both ones that are put together already and the ones that are separate. Uh, I wanna to touch on this real quick. What holds these together in woodworking, we have, uh, we have a term for a type of joint called a dovetail. And the way these things hold themselves together is the exact same way. There's actually a dovetail that holds these in. And now because I'm trying to show you live on camera, it's not going to cooperate with me. Oh, I might have them backwards. Yeah, I might have had it backwards. But you put them in together like that and they dovetail into each other. So that's how those work. They just kind of slide together and hold together. And you, you have the option to put these little, these little jobbers here they have. They'll go in a little hole in the center here to keep them together. But you know, generally, these things stay together on their own, so it's really not necessary. It's hard to get them apart, actually. So that's just to show you what they were, what they're like. But I'm going to go ahead and use the ones that are already pre-made. And I want to get, get these already uh, taken care of. So I do need, which I did not bring with me over here, is my wire stripper. So give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm in idiot mode today. So I get my wire strippers out. I'm gonna go ahead and strip off a section of that. And I will strip off a section like that. So let me get these twisted up here a little bit on both ends. And the reason I'm doing this again, I, don't, I didn't want to assume that anybody watching these videos down the road knows what I'm talking about uh, and knows what it is I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to show you here exactly what the process is to getting this done. Now we did discuss these ratcheting, uh, this ratcheting crimper made just for making Anderson power poles. So what we're going to do, we're gonna grab one of our power pole connectors here. I'm just going to insert that into the connector. And then we'll take the connector itself and it has a little slot right up inside. So we'll stick that right up inside there like so. And then we'll crimp it down until we hear it until we hear the ratchet go off. There we go. So what that has done for us here, it's made a perfect crimp for this Anderson power pole. So that's not coming off. 
So we will go ahead and do that again. Let's get that in there like so. We'll mount it. Let's see, I really want that mounted like that. That will go right inside. Now we'll just crimp down till we hear the click. And we have a perfectly crimped Anderson power pole connector. So now with this, the way your power poles are set up inside the front part here, you see, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but there's two little metal brackets in there. And this one here, you can see how it's got a curve to it. So you put these in, or they get a little tricky sometimes. You put it in there and it'll, you'll hear it snap. So we're just gonna keep pushing until it cooperates and snaps right in. Or maybe it won't. Sometimes you gotta finagle these things a little bit. I guess that's in. All right, cool. That went in just fine. So let's remember what I just did here. We'll do it with the black one. Just get that fed. <laughs> Miraculously, that worked out just fine. Just got to play with them a little bit. And maybe not because it's still loose and coming out. So now I think this thing's going that way. There we go. So this one was also in wrong. I knew there was some secret to this that would make them easier to go in. I'm just having a senior moment here or something. Plus this wire being flimsy is not helping at all. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you could hear that snap on, on the camera here, but they're both in there now. So now we'll take our scissors. We'll cut up. This is a quarter inch shrink wrap. So I think I can get away with just using one piece cut in four little pieces here. I just want to keep, I'm just doing this to keep everything neat. I don't like, these wires are like wet noodles. I just don't want them just flopping around everywhere. So we will get them placed where we need them and organize our wires accordingly. And get that on there. So there we go. Just gonna get all four pieces ready to go here. And then we'll clear our workstation area since we are done with these now. So now all that's left is to go ahead and shrink wrap And my soldering iron actually has a shrink wrap uh, or heat, heat gun station built into it. So I'll just go in here and heat that up. Now I've seen guys do this with lighters and stuff like that, and that's great, but I didn't want to have to walk around and carry a lighter everywhere I went just to shrink wrap stuff. So this is a whole lot simpler to do uh, this way. Don't keep it on there too long. This is actually 440 degrees, which is what I had it set for. And it doesn't take much for the shrink wrap to react and grip onto our wire. Okay. With that done, we now have a nice clean wire in the proper colors keep it both safe and make everybody happy. 
So all that's left to do now is to chop these little ends off like so. And like so. Get those twisted up. And there's our patch cable. So now if we come over here and get our proper. So now if we get our screwdriver out, we will repair this previous issue and mistake and get that out of here. Replace it with the proper one. Again, like I said, don't crank down on these things really hard. It's very well made, but you put the hand of God behind it here. And <laughs> you're going to probably break your, break your tool. So there we go, guys. That is it. And this is now good enough to patch in to our solar panels. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I know it was a little bit long and I had a couple of problems and things, but, uh, you know, please give me a thumbs up. That'll help YouTube algorithm show my video to more people that are interested in ham radio. Uh, also, if you kind of like the videos in my channel and the subject matter of my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking on the little bell so you can be notified whenever I do new videos. Until then, guys, this is Scott. And my call sign is KI5NPL. This is ham radio for non-techies and have a, seven, have a good day. 73s.